Good morning, my golden year friends. This is Lala from the Wild and Crazy Golden Years, fresh out of bed, first cup of coffee. Today's video is going to be about hair, how to style it, the products to use, especially short, fine hair like mine. It's gray, so it takes some special products to give it this wowza. So you can wake up like this. This is very important. All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee, get in the shower, and I'll be back in a few. All right, I use, I wash my hair first, and I use the purple shampoo. Right now I'm using L'Oreal Ever Pure, and it doesn't have any uh, harsh salts or sulfites in it. Good purple soap. So I wash my hair really good with that. And uh, once a week, I add this by AG. It is a sterling silver mask. And this stuff, I've been using it for oh, a couple years now. And it's just great. And I use that once a week. And I will add a little bit of my purple conditioner in because it is a treatment just to give it a little more moistness. And then I put that all over my head, work it in after I've washed it. I put on my shower cap, which I also like to call my thinking cap. And then I go on with the rest of my shower and that lets it set for about five minutes. And when I get rinse it all out and then I get out, I have this, uh, this stuff called by Dry Bar Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. Now, I got this um, through Ipsy at one time, so it was a free thing, and I'm, I'm going to have to look for it because this stuff is amazing. I spray that on my sunscreen, and while my sunscreen's setting for about 20 minutes, then I work on the hair. So here's what I use now because I've got very fine and limp hair. This is an Extra Body Boost by, pre, by Paul by Prepaul, by Paul Mitchell. I got this, I think, at Ulta. It's been really great. I don't like the spray boosters, you know, pump up your hair. I like this is a, just a spritzer pump, pump. And then you spray it on the roots. <laughs> when you got short hair, it's kind of hard to, you know, get only the roots. So I just ad lib, I spray it all the way through every place that I know I'm going to want some hoopla. And then I take, excuse me, I'll be right back, my fancy dancy blow dryer, and I have it on warm, I don't have it on hot, and this acts, this acts, acts, activates it. So I usually do my hair with a little brush like this, on the floor, and I brush it pretty much how I want to start. And like I said, it's hit and miss. Hit and miss every week. I never know. I try with a cut. You know, you go to your... Gotta turn up a little bit. You go to your hairdresser, and they do it perfectly. Get home. So I get it about 85% dry. Then I take one of these little cool little things. These are by um, Hot Topics. Is that the word I'm looking for? Is it Hot Topics, or is that a store? <laughs> had it for so long, I don't know. But I love, I have two adjustments. I have, for when my hair gets longer, I have the bigger one, and then I just have this little round one here. And I turn that on, and then I start styling it, hopefully. <laughs> and you don't need to add any more, um, you know, anything on it. I mean, I suppose you can. That but This uh, spritz that I'm using is Paul Mitchell Booster really works and I don't I find I don't need to add any more. And so I'm just kind of, you know, depending on I kind of look at it too. I have a cow lick, we all do. We were licked by a cow when we were babies. Thing and I st still end up using a flat iron. It's probably the way I'm using it. As I said I am not a professional anything. So I get it going the way I think it's going to behave today. Okay then, you know I've kind of just it always looks good right off the bat, especially after you've had a haircut. And then I take my flat iron. This one's by Revlon, I believe. And I will go over the places that I want a little more activity, <laughs> a little more poof. And don't burn yourself. And I just hold it for a second and then pull it out. So sometimes the blowout, if I'm lucky, uh, does it good and I don't need to really do this but I feel the back of my hair especially. I always <laughs> have a hard time, which most of us do. Um, I just kind of feel, because I have, you know, I guess I said I had a cowlick. I guess it's licked around this way. 
And I'm just kind of hit and miss, as I said. I'm not sure. You got it. You know what you like in a hair style. You know what you want, and you don't have to try to do a new trendy do if it's if your hair is not that way. Like there's a lot of things I can't do to my hair. I would love to do, but I just don't have that kind of hair. Next, I'll just take my little comb through it. Like I said, make sure I've got the stuff where I want it, and I. That's kind of an issue. I don't use uh, a lot of hairspray if I don't have to. Right now I'm using this Pure Clean by Garnier. It's a, it's a um, cream. I take a good size of it, a bunch of it, especially if it's right out of the shower, that we've just washed our hair really good to get out all these products. Now we're gonna put them back in. All right, I get it warm. And then I just go, like a so. Take the back, set that back. And just, you know, a lot of times it's not, I have a comb somewhere. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. That's the current thing I'm trying to do, is trying to make my hair kind of go around this way and come down on the cowlick. Looks so much easier when they do it, as I said, when they do it in the salon or you're watching a video from these professional women. So now I'm gonna show you the back. See, it just, as I said, I need this cut a little bit, but I thought it looked pretty cute for today. You know. Okay, we are voila. Our hair is done, our makeup's on, we're ready to get out there and make some noise. So just remember a few things. A great haircut is crucial, whether your hair is, uh, real short, medium short or long, coarse or thin or fine like mine is, you need to get the products that will uh, do your hair the most justice. So the next day, what I do, I don't wash my hair but maybe three times a week. It just, it just it holds up better if you do that. So I don't like to add a lot of product the next day. I just spritz it with water and then I will take my little hot tool, not hot topic like the store. <laughs> and brush some life into it on low heat because you don't want to frizz your hair. And then I will take uh, a flat iron if I need any more oomph. And then I will just uh, do a little hairspray and I'm ready to go. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and smash the bell. That's the new term. And I'll see you next time.